let us go to the tachymetric survey. Uh, in the tachymetric survey, we use an instrument called tachymeter. So a tachymeter is a theater light in which a special diaphragm which is fitted with the top and bottom crosshairs and with the central crosshairs. I suppose if this is the diaphragm you, you can see inside the telescope, it has usually one crosshair. But in the tachymeter, you will have the top and bottom crosshairs also. So these are also called stadia hairs. So it is a, a, a good instrument that with which we can measure the vertical and horizontal distance very exactly. So the degree of accuracy of this instrument is 1 by 1000. So there are different tachymetric systems we have uh, to do the tachymetric survey. We go to the types of tachymetric systems. There are three types of tachymetric system. First one is the stadia system. Second one is the tangential system. And the third one is the special instruments. So we mostly use the stadia system of tachymetric survey. So there are again two types. Fixed height system and the mobile hair systems. Let us talk about fixed hair method. So if you have a tachymeter here and you have some stadias, staffs held vertical. So in, this, in the tachymeter you will have three line of sides. It is the center one. It is the top one, it is the bottom one. You will have three readings in the tachymeter. So let us say this as zero, A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C2, and A3, B3, C3. So the main principle of the fixed height tachymeter is the ratio of base to perpendicular is constant. So the ratio of base by suppose a one c one by o b one is equal to a two c two by o b two is equal to a three c three by o b three is constant. So this is called the tachymetric constant multiplying constant of tachymetry. Constant of tachymetry. So this K is generally the angles obtained between this top and bottom line of sight is usually beta represented by beta. So if you see tan beta by 2 is equal to A1 by B1 by O C O A one by B one by O B one. So this from this you can say it is K. So which is equal to tan beta by two. Usually the multiplied constant is kept hundred hundred. So for hundred, for the multiplied constant K is equal to hundred, you will get the beta value. Theta is equal to thirty four minutes twenty two seconds. So this is for the multiplying constant k is equal to 100. Let us go in detail with this method. So if you take a telescope, you will have an eyepiece. So this is called the distance formula. Distance formula of tachymeter. So if you have an eyepiece like this and you will have an object like this so this is the telescope 
Then you have stamina, staff here. So if you see from this, line of sight is approximately like this. So this is objective. This is IPS. This is staff. So you will have the line of sight like this. The distance between, but exactly if it is a telescope, the exact position of the telescope is approximately ATM. So the intercept of stadia is let us say I. The intercept on the staff, let us say S. Let us check this distance is equal to D. So we are going to find the distance and the vertical distance. You will have a focal length F1 of object 2 and F2 for IPs. So this is the basic um, instrumentation and the collection of the readings from the tachometer. So you will have now from the basic geometry from the similarity of the triangles Vo, let us say this B, it's B, it is B. E. So from the triangle Vo A B F1 by S from the triangle Vo E and from this triangle is equal to F2 by I. So from this we can write F1 by F2 is equal to S by I. And from the principle of I piece we can say the focal length 1 by F is equal to 1 by F1 plus 1 by F2. So if you multiply something like this f if you multiply this with f f1 so you will get f1 is equal to f plus f1 by f2 so let us keep this aside let us say this is 1 Now, from it is 1, it is 2, from 1 and 2, you can write F1 is equal to F2 into S by I and F1 is equal to F plus F1 by F2. So you, you replace F1 you will get F1 by F2 you can replace S by I so F1 plus F F1 is equal to F plus S by I so from this you can say let us say this as D the center to the objective distance is D from this you can write capital D is equal to F1 plus d which implies d minus small d is equal to f1 so replace this here so by replacing that You will have d minus small d is equal to f plus s by i into f so finally d is equal to f by i into s plus f plus d so the final distance between the station and the staff is like this so in this you can write f by i is equal to 
k and f plus d is equal to c so this f by i is called the multiplying constant and f plus c is called the additive constant so the final formula for d pistons is equal to ks plus c this is the basic formula that we have to use in every tachometric service let us see how to use that formula for deriving all elevations and the distances